and Joni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Well, some scattered showers out there right now. Drier weather moves in for the weekend, so things will be fine for outdoor activities. However, a cool punch of air will also move in. We'll discuss those weekend temperatures in just a minute. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 shows that most of the showers right now are rather light. Even in areas which are not covered in green, you may be seeing a few light raindrops or drizzle. We can take it a little bit closer here to the Attleboro's along 295 where things are a bit heavier. These showers moving to the northeast. There will be more showers off and on to take its place into the later parts of today. In fact, our future cast does a great job detailing that. This is 2 o'clock this afternoon. More scattered showers out there. They will also be around for the evening commute. Nothing impassable, but enough to make things a little messy, slow things down just a little bit with some puddles out there on the roads. And then tonight, still the scattered showers, 8 or 9 p.m. before we finally clear this out overnight with some clear skies and some sunshine to start off Friday morning. So even though we do have the showers, we're going to leave you in the low category on the Eyewitness News Threat Tracker for the next several days. And as we look at our city camera, You'll notice a few raindrops on the city camera. Your windshield will likely look the same. Providence at 49 degrees, Smithfield 46, Newport at 50, and New Bedford at 49. Now, our winds haven't been too bad this morning. They'll continue to increase, though, as we go into the afternoon. So Newport right now, winds out of the south around 8 miles per hour. Those wind speeds at TF Green currently also at 9 miles per hour. They'll increase to around 15 miles an hour this afternoon. Would not be surprised to see a few gusts of 25 even around 30 at the coast later on tonight. Speaking of the coast, this is a view from Narragansett. You can see the breezes picking up a little bit with the flags flapping in the wind. A raindrop right here kind of obscuring the view with our raindrops on the way from the west. In fact, you can see where they're coming from. We have to get through a cold front late tonight out ahead of the front. Right here, notice some more showers will be pushing across southern New England. That's why we're not completely done with the rain showers just yet. Ahead of that front, temperatures may actually increase into the later evening hours. Notice at 5 p.m., 58 in Westerly, 57 Newport along the south coast. Would not be surprised to see a few low 60s out there. We'll go with 57 in Providence. And even at 8 or 9 tonight, we're still in the 50s. The front isn't quite here yet, but overnight it finally clears through. So then we'll see those temperatures dropping into the upper 40s. But we should really call this a cool front, not a cold front, because temperatures tomorrow, not necessarily that cold. However, I should point out it will be a breezy day, so that 59 will feel more like uh, the low 50s with some gusts of 25 to 35 miles an hour possible. Also, pretty chilly Friday night. Actual temperatures down in the 40s after uh, 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe even before that, with the feel-like temperatures potentially in the 30s Friday night and Saturday morning. And then the actual temperatures going to the 30s as well. So by Saturday, we're behind a second more powerful reinforcing shot of cold air. That's why high temperatures only in the 40s the winds making it feel like the upper 30s and low 40s. So yes, you could be outside on Saturday, but you will need the jacket for most of the day. Sunday is a little bit milder, a little less windy with a temperature of 53 degrees. And then notice our trend. We bring those temperatures back into the upper 50s, maybe around 60 degrees by the time we get to early next week. So not a bad looking weekend, Danielle, just a little cooler, but at least we will keep away the rain for Saturday and Sunday. And you know who will be looking at more information on the weekend for Futurecast? Tony Petraca. He's our chief meteorologist. He'll be yep. in live at 5 to look at more data as we head into the weekend. All right. Thank you, Pete. And now we want to give you a quick look at what we're working on starting live at 5 tonight. A woman accidentally.